Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. This video is going to be about how to set up a Vagrant and run the CentOS 7 VM in Windows 10 or Windows 11. So let's get started. You might already know that the Vagrant is an open source tool for building and managing virtual machine environments in a single workflow. If you follow the entire series of the Vagrant tutorials, you will know what you can do with Vagrant and how easy is this tool to manage the virtual machines. As a prerequisite, you need to have the Oracle VM VirtualBox already installed in your PC. If the VirtualBox is not installed on your computer, please pause this video, download the Oracle VM VirtualBox from its official website and install it on your PC. Then come back to the video. Also as the other recommended tool to run Vagrant VMs and access them, you are recommended to download and install the git pass from its official website. The download link is displayed on the screen or you can find the link on the description below. Now let's begin the setup. First of all, we will have to determine the directory where we are going to work. I'm going to create a new directory in a drive. So I want to list all the drives available in my PC with the command fsutil space fs info drives as you can see there are three drives in my pc drive c drive d and e i'm going to create a new directory in the e drive so i change the current working directory to the e drive to verify we can run the command pwd if we want to check it graphically we are here in the e drive of our windows pc now let's create a directory with mkdir command and the directory name. Let's give it as vagrant vms. Checking on the directory graphically in the windows explorer, you can see the new directory created. Now let's change the current directory to the new directory that we just created. If we check it graphically, we are here now. Let's create a new directory in the current working directory in the name of the Linux VM that we are going to create. However, it's not mandatory that the directory name must be in the name of the Linux VM that we are going to create. This is just for our ease. To verify, type ls and hit enter. If you type ls space hyphen l and hit enter, you can see that it's a directory. Now change the directory to the Saint Weas. Now that you have set up a new directory, let's open a browser and go to the Vagrant Cloud. Click on the first link that takes you to the Vagrant Cloud website from where uh, we will pull the images of the systems that we want to run as a virtual machine. In the search box, search for CentOS. It seems it's an official image of the CentOS latest version. Just click on it. Copy the VM name, go back to the git bash, let's clear the screen, type vagrant space init space paste the name of the VM and hit enter. We get an error, command not found. From this error we should understand that, from this error we should understand that the vagrant package is not installed on this PC. So let's move on and download and install the Vagrant for Windows. In the new tab, search for install Vagrant on Windows. Click on the download link of the Vagrant. Click on the AMD64. To check the download status, just press Ctrl plus J keys in the Chrome browser. And here we can see the Vagrant installer is already downloaded. Click on it to begin the installation. Now you can follow the standard procedure to download a program or software in Windows PC. Now the Vagrant setup is complete and we got the prompt that states that you must restart your system for these configuration changes made to Vagrant to take effect. Click on the S button to restart now or click on the No button if you plan to manually restart later. Let's click on the S button and 
restart the system. After your PC is restarted, again copy the Vagrant VM image name. Go to the Git Bash, verify your current working directory, and fire up the Vagrant command to initialize the image. Now the Vagrant file of the image is created and the Vagrant file has been placed in this directory. You are now ready to start your first Vagrant VM. If we check on the directory graphically, we can see the Vagrant file. To start the VM, run the Vagrant space up command. It will pull the image from the Vagrant cloud, create a virtual machine on the Oracle VM virtual box and start the virtual machine. For this process, it may take some time, so keep patience and keep checking on the Oracle VM virtual box. Now we can see the CentOS VM state in running. To get into the VM or to get the remote connection via SSH, type Vagrant space SSH and hit enter. Okay, we are now logged into the VM with the user Vagrant. To verify which Linux distro we are using, run the command cat space slash etc slash os dash release. We can see it's a Saint OS Linux of the version 7. To change the currently logged on user to the root, type the command sudo space su space hyphen l and hit enter. We are now logged in as the super user or the admin user or the root user. Type exit and hit enter to log out from the root user. And again type exit and hit enter to disconnect from the VM. If you want to power off this VM, you can run vagrant space halt command. And finally, if you want to remove the VM from the Oracle VM virtual box, run vagrant space destroy command. It will just remove the VM from the list of the VMs on the Oracle VM virtual box, but not from its original directory. You can run vagrant space up on any time that you want to start the VM until you delete the files from the original directory. Okay guys, this is how we can set up vagrant on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Okay guys, this is how we can set up vagrant on Windows 10 or Windows 11 and run the first VM. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.